so the topic what i wanted to do is that uh especially how do we enhance our uh, meditation practice or so what is meditation and in fact ajahn cha i was listening it he puts it in a very nice way but even then if i have not gone through ajahn cha okay, so what what is meditation what really is meditation if we put it in a nutshell or uh, why we should meditate is to come out of the delusion is a delusion and for that you need to meditate so do you want to sit and meditate do you want to stand and meditate do you want to walk and meditate do you want to sleep and meditate all the four postures is about this thing called as i okay so if i get clarity that there is no i in anything it's just a process so my meditation practice is very good if i feel that i am doing it and i am really like this i am doing like that all that is really felt instead of uh, an actor i'm supposed to play an act but i become the character myself then that's a problem so the meditation is to get rid of the portraying of the character as myself rather than i only take i am a character i am just portraying a role whatever is at present so if i am walking i am aware that i am walking meaning what it means is that you are walking with an awareness like a third party or just like a witness if i am sitting i know that i am sitting which means as a third party i am able to see how the body is placed and instantly you get bliss you, you you don't have to do anything hard thing to get into that stage if there is awareness now we need to also understand what is being aware what, what is that is getting aware awareness is watching the arising and passing of it the anicca nature in everything will make the mind which is the vinyana let's put that way to let go of its hold and come to the chitta which just observes okay that's the whole idea so in the five aggregates if i am saying this is form this is feeling this perception this is uh, sankhara which is let's say preparation and consciousness the consciousness here is a defiled consciousness so when when the rupa is seen can i see it arising and passing that's the thing that there is no moha there is no person like a flowing stream so blood is also flowing the same way and all the juices in the body and the breath and everything is flowing it's not stopping it comes and goes and comes and goes creating a a vortex thing can can i can i watch the vortex can i just be the witness to the vortex rather than jumping into the vortex and going around with it like i sit on the bank of a river and watch the vortex rather than jumping into the river and being swamped by the vortex itself can i can i do that that's the whole idea of meditation or that's what meditation is meaning to come out of this delusion and when the delusion goes away it immediately brings in nibiddha the illusion is gone the illusion is seen rather not gone is seen so that lets go of the raga and the dvesha which is the liking and disliking if we if we could put it that way just liking and disliking i like this i don't like that so to say but these two extremes are coming because of the delusion so the middle path is to remove the delusion and the delusion is i nothing else there's no other delusion than i 
So if I let go of that I, I am in Nibbana. Because there was no I in the first place. It's just a conceptual, conventional way of putting that there is an I. I am. But while there is no I am at all, there is no person. I just say, oh, I am eating, I am all that. So can I really watch it like a an actor performing an action rather than the character really being there. So this is what so when I am saying Samatha, so when I say I want to do Samatha, what it transforms me into seeing this in a slow motion. Because I need to sit somewhere to watch this movie, right? It's like I'm sitting on the bank of a river and seeing the vertex. So I can't be in the vertex to watch the vertex. So I need to be outside the vertex to see the vertex. So I can be in Samatha. That means tranquility. So the best way to tranquilize is the breath. So can I then sit in whichever posture, like this posture or whatever posture, and just watch the breath, as though I'm just watching the river flow by. Can I do that? And it's a fun activity. Why I fail is I'm doing an activity. You see this problem. I play playing an activity and that creates craving. Because I want to achieve it. I want to achieve watching the breath. The more I try, the, the worse it gets. So just watching, right? Just watching is watching. Meaning I'm just sitting and watching the river flow by and what effort I need to put there. Actually, there's no effort. Whether the, you, I watch or don't watch, the river is flowing. So it's not because I am watching, it is going to stop. In the same way, the breath, it flows, irrespective of whether I am watching or not watching. So can I just watch like that and keep on watching and watching and watching and watching? And a fun thing happens. That it slows down. And when it slows down, now I can see the bottom of the river. That's the whole idea of Vipassana. And the bottom of the river has all kind of things. So just being watchful, nothing, no reacting to it. And the very act of watching brings out that defilements up. And just watch it. Don't, don't curse it. Oh, how come you here? Then again it goes down. It's a whirlpool. Like, you know, I, I put some leaves and the leaves are seen. So that's, that's defilement. It's so simple as that. Or you could take a net and then take it out of that water and throw it out. And that's it. But what else in, I need to do with that? I don't have to curse that defilement saying that how dare you sitting there. It's very, very simple. Very straightforward rather. So can I do something like that? Is what is I'm feeling I should be doing, irrespective of wherever it is. Now in December I've signed up for this vipassana, the going car retreat. It'll be fun for me. Fun in the sense that there is no expectation. So whatever I'm doing here, I can continue doing there. So there is there's no vipassana center per se. If I create a value, positive or negative, is defined. Because it means that I am doing something, meaning I am sitting cross-legged and I am sitting for hours together and there is an expectation, then there is an assistant teacher and then this place, I am driving there, I am going to stay for 10 days and all of this paraphernalia it is no meditation, absolutely no meditation because I have already set an expectation that when I go there, I am going to do this. Failure. How about not going anywhere, but yet being there? So the Nama Rupa is gone. There is no name and form. If I put a Vipassana center and then I have given it a name, a place. When I give a place, there should be something happening there in that vortex. Because that place is there, right? Like Buddha says, Vattam Vattati, that means circling around in that vortex. So, I am here 
and vortex is there. So the vipassana center is there somewhere, right? It is circling like that. And I call it as a vipassana research institute. So now I sitting here jumping into the vortex. Now what will I expect as a result? It's circling around. Now I'll get two things out of that. I will get a very nice experience, which I will then say that's the most best thing I could do, or I will not get any experience, and then I would say, ah, that is not good. I went there, doesn't make any sense to anyone. So if somebody wants to ask me, Vilas, you went to VRI and you did that Vipassan, how was it? So what should be by my reply? I can only give these two. One is Kama Sukhalu Kanu Yoga. Otherwise, I can give the Kila Matanu Yoga. That means I'm going to say that, yeah, I tried my best. It didn't work. I, it was painful. And I don't know. Next retreat, if I do, it will become good. But this one was horrible. I think I didn't have the parmi. I didn't have this. I didn't have that. And all of those stories, story making is one side. And the other side, wow, I think if, I'm telling you, you should try it. It's the best thing you could have. But actually, it's your mind which is playing both of, both of it. If, if you come to the middle path, it's about Pati Samutpada, that's it. You just sit there. You are sitting here, you are sitting there. Both are the same. So now you are watching this and you are watching that. They both are the same. So there is no agitation. There is no illusion. And hence, the viraga happens. That is, dispassion happens. So if I have disillusionment and dispassion, what should I expect in that place? Nirodha should happen. Because I am not talking to anyone for nine days. It's the best thing that could happen. No contact with anyone at all. From morning till evening, only doing this activity. Wow! Beauty, Nirodha. Peace should happen. Upasamaya. Abhinyaya. So I should be able to see much profound things than what I see sitting at my home. Sambodaya. I will be able to see all the Four Noble Truths. Nibban. So in Vipassana Research Institute, I should be able to experience Nibbana in nine days, for sure. Because if my mind is in Nibbana here, I doubt whether why it shouldn't be there. Or if my mind is in Nibbana there, why it shouldn't be here. Isn't it the same? And that's it. So there is no here. There is no there, like what Buddha explains to Bahia, nor anything in between. So that's all I wanted to talk about on what is happening in my mind right now. As, as I am speaking to a lot of people from VRI in the evening, and we are going through uh, these uh, Hindi discourses, a lot of things are coming to my inside. Yes. But I still think that when you go there, there is a quite possibility that you don't have to give any... Uh, you, you will not even think of Dhamma at that time. Yes. Right? Exactly. Ideally, if you are uh, following it. Yes, absolutely. In that sense, something will happen which you haven't experienced so far. Yes. That. Because still your meditation is different in the sense that you investigate and meditate, right? There, there is no investigation, total surrendering as if you don't know anything. If you can do that and you, you will not do the way you are meditating in the sense that you will not investigate TTP so means this, Bhagava means this. That kind of meditation, if you don't do, throw it in piece of Bhagwa. Just sit idle, nine days, something else will happen. 
Yes, I am going to do that. I am not going to add. But continue current way of meditation. There, let's say I will do my own type of meditation. I will not follow what they are doing. I will close my eyes and I will continue what I am doing. Then nothing is going to. Happen. No, whatever is happening here will happen there. Exactly. If you do that, if you do the same way, you are doing it here. Yes. So the objective should be that you allow everything to happen. Yeah. Meaning, whatever is um, guided there, in however the format it is, exactly. Do it accordingly. Accordingly, yeah. Do it as as they say. Yes, because then it becomes an ego clash. <laughs> Exactly. And then there is no meditation, either this or that. Yeah. Because so that is another one. Can you have broken one piece at that uh, you will be lying, right? To yourself <laughs> and to the teacher. Correct. So the be- the best argument for me is to just go there and do what anybody will do. It's just like you go to an exam and what will you do? You'll you'll write the exam that's it you don't have to prove anything or disprove anything you just go there to what is what makes sense as per them rather than what makes sense to me so then i have given a fair trial to that method otherwise it is unfair it, it already and then and then when you come out you can come back Yes. Otherwise, there is no comparison, right? Now, if somebody you asks, totally hundred percent put yourself there, yeah. only then you can compare. Yes, absolutely. That's the whole. Uh, yes, sir, uh, Eric. I'm saying, hope you become an arhat by the end of it. I'm not hoping anything. I also don't know arhat and all that. What I hope is, he find some tricks and tips from the right there. Okay, this is this is. This I, I understood, not for him, but for us, all of us. See, my my promise, my promise since I am talking, my promise is I will exactly do what is said. Exactly. Otherwise, it becomes uh, what I can say. I am fooling myself. Number one, and uh, number two, if I say I'm doing a tick in the box, yes, it is true that it is a tick in the box, but with fairness. It's not just tick in the box. It's because somebody is asking me to go, and I'm just doing that, and I come back and say, "Ah, bullshit thing, go there." No, no, it will be a double whammy. Meaning, it's not good. So, this Burmese method is very good one. You just go and do it. There's nothing adding to it. Even though I might know better things than that, it doesn't matter. Or there, just put no addition, no deletion, no modification. You are a dumb guy. Yeah. I'm not going to say I have tried it. I'll do this. And even when the teacher is going to ask me, or oh, I heard that will be one-on-one meeting also. So if he asks me, I'll just say I am finding okay. Just be, just be, not doing anything. Just be, yeah. Yeah, and I think like Sachin has said, right? If you let go in your mind, this is a better thing, right? I think it helps you let go of dhamma in the sense that help you go further than where you are. No, I don't have to create a value. Yeah, right. But you, you were saying even I know better thing here. No, like, if I better. knew, if I let's say if I make my mind feel that I know better thing here. And that's an inferior thing there. It's already failed. Even before going there, it is failed. Because no matter how much I know about uh, VRI, unless I really done it in the fairest of it, meaning whatever was said, I've exactly done that, and that should be my state of mind. I can't have ego saying that. Hey, you know what? I know better. They don't know that. So let me not do it. Meaning, I'll just go just for the heck of going there, right? So I'll just go, and he says, "Yeah, close your eyes, close your eyes," and you do what you are doing. Let them do whatever they want. Then, then why to go there? Eh? Rather, I can cancel it off. 
Yeah, in fact, they will not be telling you continuously, right? Like once, once in a hour, once in a hour. Correct. So, almost fifty minutes, no one is telling you. Right. So you are you forget that there is a probability that you forget that you are in big bus now. No, I'm I'm not going to do anything. Say, I'll, I'll I'll just give a very light example. I know how to drive the car, but for license, you need to follow the process. You want a driving license? Yes, sir. But I know how to drive the car. Do you have license? No, sir. So you had to go to the class to drive the car. Yes, sir. But I know how to drive. Forget that. But you have a license no sir so you better drive the car through that agency which will teach you how to drive the car you don't have to teach that driver how to drive the car you drive the car right and then when you drive the car if they ask you wow you are an expert you just smile i don't have to go and say that you know what i knew this car i know how everything about this car and what are the different models and all that i don't have to do that so i have made mind very clear that you know or you don't know it doesn't matter just go do it and come back yeah they will say watch your breath for the whole day you will watch your breath at that saw nothing else if they say do this do this if they say scan here from the top side bottom wherever and yes just do that and that will cut man vanity and i am doing for that reason knowing very well i am doing it to cut the man vanity i right? that's a main thing to go knowing yet pretending not to know it it's very difficult now it's like you know you you the mind will say come on there's nothing there just tend to it the real exam will start on the last day ninth day what happens is people are frustrated because they cannot talk so on ninth day when they are, they say now you can talk blood will come up all people will talk to each other because even talking to unknown people is a joy at that time moment that is very difficult for me because everything breaks there right the seal is broken Oh, see, forget about the last. The the momentum I thought of this nine day. People talk, talk, talk. Almost eight o'clock, they nine o'clock, ten o'clock. They keep on talking this that. At that time, you will become guru. <laughs> yeah, it will be good. So I'll be watching. So uh, starts on sixth of December. Oh, sorry, seventh of December. but we are going in the afternoon of 6th of december i think uh, it ends on 16th but they let, let go on 17th so i'm going to request uh, on 16th night to be back so i was told that you can come back you know how to wait for the last the next day to come back so yes i was thinking in the ninth day when everyone's talking it can be like a, the fire sermon where put the top to all these people and convert it to mall too <laughs> and Yeah. What your back we're going to have 30 people. How much how much ever you try? How much ever you try? You know, this is my case. I get people come around me and then I decide that I will not speak anything about me, but something happens and then it trends start. Night and day hiding yourself in one of the retreat, I hide myself in a bathroom. Wow. So let Because, me see. Yeah, that is a that is a very good tip. So let me see. how far i can just be a spectator when everybody is talking because at that time then people will ask lot of question to you and frankly speaking they are they are asking because they have frustrated of not speaking and you think that they are they are they want to know this is the major problem how to know that they really want to know right many or many of them will suck your energy to the extent that actually they are doing time pass right right and you waste lot of energy in telling them how to control yourself from not talking to them it's a biggest challenge except how to how to find real person who really want to know 
it is biggest challenge for me because and you you also will ask you you answer to everyone and i will tell you almost 80% of people they are not worth even talking correct i understand i i agree with that point 100% i agree i i second your view that is true not every person whom you meet for dhamma is really interested in dhamma this is problem with me and i also notice that this is problem with you also that you will answer in respect of he is really thirsty or not correct 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 yes if, if the person is not truly thirsty but you talk aren't you setting some kind of good condition for dhamma to happen somewhere later in their life or you think it's not even worth a little bit no you should answer but to the extent that this thirst is true very true very yeah true. so what he is saying is i seen myself i give more information than what is required even yesterday i did that even yesterday one person had asked me one question but i went totally off the hook and i was reflecting and this another gentleman in that hindi group messaged me message in the group saying that he didn't tell me that you have gone away he put me in a very nice way so today i need to tell i do need to appreciate him for bringing that up because that is a defect what i have meaning i am not to the point and that is one thing i need to correct and this uh, vipassana class where i am going should help me in that direction because it cuts lot of things okay even though theoretically i know how this whole thing works but sitting there and doing is a different thing altogether so i appreciate everyone in vri whoever has been pushing me including sachin and navin and so many other guys that i need to do one retreat is really good i mean one retreat is must uh, where a lot of things will get ironed out like this one where i tend to give more details tend to uh, uh, give more information to all the people whether they like they want it in the first place or they don't want it in the first place. or they they might want it are they following it or not also i don't check so that's another uh, issue what i have that's a i have uh, i have a, a minor point to make and um, yes um, can you can you hear me okay so i think that the buddha spoke to people of various levels of it. um he spoke to somebody who could instantaneously understand the truth and he spoke to people who had no idea just came to worship him as a bhagwan and wanted you know just uh, good blessings you know different the people but he approached everybody uh, and used his linguistic skills and spiritual and philosophical understanding to explain it so, such that he could talk about uh, nibbana and emptiness at the highest level or he could speak simple about the eight basic uh, you know paths and the four noble truths or even simpler than that just about compassion you know simple compassion he was able to do that to a broad wide swath of people you know i think that's important to do um an example that i'll never forget i mean these are beautiful stories uh, from buddha's you know teachings uh, the story of the the lute player the veena player who comes to him you know what a beautiful story and the veena player comes to him and tells him you know my mind is a mess you know family troubles i'm having some trouble with my job there's just no peace of mind what should i do and the buddha asks him what do you do for a living and the man says i play the veena the indian lute you know and the buddha says how do you tune tune the lute my friend how do you do it so the man says if i tune it too tight the string will break if i tune it too loose there will be no music so buddha asked him how do you tune it he says i had to tune it just right so i get the the sound out and buddha says that's what you do with your mind the middle path you know and how he explains it is beautiful and i think 
that's the great skill I think we all have to develop is the ability to speak to people of different persuasions, different, you know, um, because it is a chaotic world. It's getting worse that I see, you know, the world is getting worse. Delusion is getting worse. Now, in Buddha's time, I keep saying, Ramana's time or Buddha's time, Buddha's time probably have 50 million, 70 million people in the whole world. Now it's going to be 10 billion. The amount of delusion that we are facing now, even Buddha himself, you know, I remember the story about the monks, you know, the two monks, the Dharma monks and the uh, ritual monks, they had a big fight, you know, and Buddha walked away. He just left that place and he went into the cave. In the middle of the fight, they opened up their eyes and says, what happened to the Tathagata? Where, what happened? Looked everywhere, they couldn't find him. And then saw Ananda came and Ananda said he's sitting in the cave and meditating. And uh, they went and he got frustrated. Even Buddha, you know, with his calmness, got frustrated with the amount of chaos and the squabble, you know, where they reduce it from the highest level of spirituality to no self or uh, Nibbana to simple stupid fights, you know. So we have to approach all these people even-mindedly and, uh, you know, have an ability to approach. And that's a great skill that uh, is good to develop, I think. That's my point. Yeah, so, yeah, so if, if someone is asking a question and you have the answer, is not the right condition to talk. That the right condition to talk is, can you go to the level of person who is asking and answer in that level, in that level? Otherwise, better to smile. Yeah. Beautiful story, I'll never forget, is the Kisa Gautami story. That's the penultimate story where she brings her dead son and just sobs at his feet and says, bring him back to life. And Buddha is a realist, right? He's not this, you know, metaphysical person who can wave a wand, you know, like Jesus Christ and bring somebody back to and cure the blind. He's very honest. He understands that life is gone. And he tells her, do me a favor, Kisa Gautami, go to a house where there's no, where nobody has died and bring me the mustard seeds from that house. She goes, first house, second house, tenth house, twelfth house. My father died, my brother died, my sister died, my son died, my daughter died. You know, I'm now having a fatal illness. She's transformed. But the tenth house, she herself has transformed, you know. I, I think that's an amazing skill, you know. That's what I love about Buddha's teachings. Yeah, good. So that's all from my side I have unless we want to discuss on something. About meditation, it's all about coming, letting go of delusion. So my practice is on letting go of the delusion which will take into the Arhat Parasamapati. So I'm working on that front. So now when I go into the VRI this December, like what Sachin said, there won't be anything, meaning there's nothing conceptualization or whatever it is. Whatever is said, I will do it. No, uh, no two ways about it. Because then the mana will not be there. So, the thing what has to be let go in, uh, if I have to go beyond what I have done so far, is that the vanity has to go away. That means the entire delusion cycle has to end and then only you will not have the raga and dvesha or the, uh, the desire and aversion if we were to put that way. That's the practice what I am doing and right now itself I am doing exactly in the format or trying to do in the format what is there in that schedule like 4 o'clock getting up and 4.30 to 6.30 and then like that. So trying to make the body sit in that because I have never sat in all these years, I know it, but I have not never sat as what is indicated there, especially 1 p.m. to 5 p.m., four hours thing. They would ask you to relax and all that, but then can I sit without doing anything except watching the breath for four hours, without dozing off, without getting anything. So. 
I have still have uh, around three months, roughly around two and a half months to go there. So if I can practice exactly what it is, so then there is no no questions. Just no, no, don't, don't, don't practice. Don't prepare. Just go and prepare. No, no. The sitting, I want to do it because sitting has always been my. Uh, if you don't prepare, then you are sitting is troublesome. There, it will be an opportunity for you to see. Okay, that also makes sense. But anyway, for for the samatha, I am been sitting, so I am just extending that. Because for 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 me to get into walking meditation, I need to first. There, there, one of the agenda is to give you pain. So if you take out pain early, pain early, it will be difficult for you to follow what they have wanted to do. Right? They want your body to pay. Right? So if you practice this way, then you will not be able to see the pain the way they want you to. Ah, okay. Yeah, it is more about body watching. So if the body doesn't have pain, then what will you watch? So typically, typically we all are being told to meditate two hours daily. That's all. Right. That is uh, morning one hour, evening one hour. That's all. So if you wanted to, if you wanted to practice their way, do this only. One hour morning, one hour evening. Okay. Then I will do it from today. And that also, don't trouble yourself. Change the leg. This troubling, so you should do their own thing. Yeah. Thanks for the tips and tricks on this. So I was asking, asking Ashutosh yesterday in that one hour to 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, would there be any breaks and all that? He said, yeah, there would be. <laughs> Nobody can sit four hours. There are only three sessions. Three sessions. Practically speaking, morning 8 to 9, afternoon 2.30 to 3.30, and evening 6 to 9. Only these three sessions are there. When teachers will be observing you, you will be told not to move your head. Raised, uh, teacher may or may not be there. And there is no, uh, there is no restraint on you to not change your body changes. So, if, if, if people are saying, if they are saying that there you cannot change the leg, it's not true. You can change the leg, even in this three session, 8 to 9, 2, 30 to 3, 30, 6 to 9, but try to minimize that, that there, that there is. Okay. And one other thing I saw is that you can uh, meditate at room. Yeah, you, you can meditate. But would they allow even for the first timer to do that? They will. Okay. So let's say 4.30 to 6.30. But, but I, I never attempted that. Uh, why? Because now I am attempting, but earlier I, I was not attempting because whenever I do that, I sleep. Ah, okay. okay. Like this 4.30 to 6.30 in the morning. So you can you can do in the in your room. Yeah, only this three hours you should be up. You should be required to be in hall. In the meditation hall. Okay. okay. Yeah. Other you can do anywhere. Just follow. They will trust you. Ah, okay, okay. Then it is good. And if and there will be a room specifically other than your room, then that is called Sunyaga. Correct, correct. You will be given a dedicated Sunyaga to you. If you don't want to go to hall, you can go to Sunyaga. Okay, except for those three sittings where you need to be in the hall, you can go wherever you want and meditate. Yeah, either Sunyaga or, or in your room, but do not meditate outside. Only that is the place. Ah, okay, okay. So then what? I because I want to take that Sunyaga also to sit and meditate. Yeah. Like you know, if there are like one p.m. to five p.m. or whatever that is. Sunyaga will be given after three days only. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Good. Good to know. Very good to know. Yeah, I think after the experience, you'll be able to connect with the VRI guys, guys in a much better and real way. Yeah. Now yeah. you know I'm not in the real deal. But now 
after this you let, let me that. ask Shreyas if he is willing to join Sure, sir. I'd be, I'd be in, into it. Okay, then, what you, date, though? then you apply from 6 to 17. The, the slot is open. Okay. Six. Of December? Yeah, December. Okay, sure. So, anyway, pick up and drop will be... I am there, so you have a driver anyway. So, so, you just have to sit in the car. Sure, yeah. It will so be then, a wonderful experience. Then you, then you apply right away. It is still open. Okay, sure. Good. Any other topic? Today I didn't want to take any sutta for anything. So just wanted to have a casual talk rather than all the time with the sutta.